welcome to another Rope and Ranch gameplay tutorial. Today we'll be going over genetics, and specifically the paint genetics within the game. We're going to go ahead and show you three different types of horses and what their different patterns are here within the game. First, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what the differences are. So here we've got an Ovro, then we've got a Tobignano, and then we've also got a Tovro. Now, what is the difference between all of these? Well, if we go back to Ovro, you'll see that none of the white here crosses over the back line. You'll also notice that both of these legs, or at least a majority of the legs, are brown. When you switch over to the Tobignano, you'll notice that the white does now cover the back, and that these legs right here are actually gonna be more of a white color. The face will have very, very little white markings and when they are white markings, they'll be like stripes and snips. A Tovro will be a combination of the both. You'll see the four white legs, you'll see some of this kind of crossing over the back, which might not actually cross. And then they'll also sometimes have face markings or they might not. Then we move over here to Buttercup. Buttercup is a brown roan solid paint. As you can see, Buttercup does not have any paint jeans like the Overo, Tovro, or Tobignano. If we move forward, you can see that she still is purebred, and when we go to our family tree, we can see that both of her parents were painted. Now, how does this happen, and why do horses get born without any of their paint markings? We're going to go ahead and take a look at both of the parents here. When we look over here at Oreo, you can see that Oreo is an Overo mare. And then when we switch over to the stallion, you'll notice that it is a Tovro stallion. This chart here will show you that a Tovro mixed with an Overo will give you a 50% chance of a Tovro, 25% chance of an Overo, and a 25% of a solid colored horse. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to age up all of these different variations, the Overo, Tovro, and Tobignano, and our solid paint to get them ready to breed so I can show you how to get all of the different variations. I'm also going to go ahead and move all of these guys into a pasture so that they can not have to eat the grain every day and make it a little bit easier for this tutorial. Now after some supersonic speed and some vaccinations later, we are going to rename these horses. I'm going to name this one Virginia and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the filly out of these two names and we'll go ahead and start replicating some of these breeding processes so you can see what actually creates which genes in the game. So starting with Buttercup here, you can see that if we breed a solid colored paint with an Ovro, we'll have a 50% chance of getting an Ovro and a 50% chance of a solid. When changing this to a Tovro, you'll see that now we have a 50% at Tovro and 50% at Solid. And lastly, when we switch this over to a Tobignano, you'll see that we have a 100% chance of getting a Tobignano. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first is breed Buttercup to a Tovro Stallion. So we're going to go ahead and search for a purebred paint because I'm going to go ahead and keep all of these guys purebred. And we're going to scroll down and find a Tovro. So we got this guy here, Bobby. So when we breed them and we look at that calculator, we should get about a 50% chance of this being a Tovro and a 50% chance of this being a solid. So now when the baby's born, we get a solid. So our 50-50 ended up with a solid this time. So what we're going to go ahead and do is age this baby up and get it off of the mom. And then we're going to jump back over to Buttercup and breed them to a Tobignano, which as the chart said, is 100% going to be a Tovro. Now the reason that this works the way that it does in the game is because I have both the Ovro and the Tovro on the same gene. That way it's easy and basic for everybody. And as you can see here, we do get a Tovro offspring. So let's go ahead and age this little baby up, get it off of the mom, and I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a different horse and show you a little bit more in, a, um, in the Ovro side of it. 
Here's Virginia, and we're going to go ahead and show you the different calculations with OVRO. You have a 25% chance of lethal white, a 50% chance of OVRO, and a 25% chance of solid. And then with a TOVRO to an OVRO, you've got a 50% chance of TOVRO, 25 of OVRO, and a 25 again of lethal white. And then with a Tobignano, you have a 100% chance of a TOVRO because you always get that O and that T from the parent. So what exactly is a lethal white horse? A lethal white horse is a problem that typically happens with the intestines when the baby is born. The intestines never form a way to get to the actual exit hole, which ends up causing a severe colic inside of the baby. Now, because it's normally a newborn baby, they cannot perform those surgeries to fix the impaction and the baby ends up dying within a few hours. So this is something that I have added into the game and what happens is the babies will die at eight months old, but you still wanna severely avoid these kind of breedings. So back to Virginia here, we're gonna go ahead and breed her and I'm gonna try to avoid getting a lethal white here while we're doing this. So the first one I'm going to breed here is going to be another Ovro, which has the 50% chance of being an Ovro, and then the other 25 and 25 of either colorless or lethal. So let's go ahead and breed this and see what our offspring is. Now it's important to note that this offspring of lethal white can also happen with a Tovro to an Ovro. In this case, we did end up getting an Ovro baby and we didn't get a lethal white. So let's age up this baby and go ahead and breed again. This time we are going to be breeding to a Tovro coat. So let's go ahead and do a breeding and see what the offspring is. Our probability again is going to be 50%, 25%, and 25%. So as you can see, we have a baby and the baby ends up being that 50% Tovro. So let's age it up and breed now to a Tobignano coat. Our Punnett square calculation means that this is going to get us a 100% chance of a Tovro. And, of course, the baby is a Tovro baby, a Bay Roan. So now, I'm going to go ahead and get this baby off and I'm going to show you it in the Tobignano and the Tovro because we still have other variations in order to get these genes. So Rain is a Tobignano. So we only really have two options that we haven't tried with this one, which is going to be a Tobignano plus a Tovro, which is always going to be a 50-50, or a Tobignano plus a Tobignano, which is always going to get us a 100%. So let's go ahead and breed Rain here to another Tobignano and see what kind of offspring we get. We know with the Punnett square, we're going to always get another Tobignano because Tobignano and Tobignano is Tobignano. So now we've got a cute little Copper Bay Tobignano baby, and I'm going to choose one of the uh, horses farther down on the list this time. Let's go with Merlin, who is a white Dun Roan Tovro, and this one should result in a 50-50 chance of Tovro or Tobignano. And our offspring in this case is a little male smoky black Tovro colt. So, we're going to go ahead and age this one off, and then we're going to move over to our last um, option, which is going to be our Tovro horse. So at this point, we've already bred Tovro to Ovro and Tobignano. So this last time, it's going to be a Tovro to a Tovro, which is 50% Tovro, 25% Tobignano, and 25% Lethal White. So the last thing for us to do here is go ahead and breed our Tovro to a Tovro. So let's go ahead and find one last stallion. Um, let's pick a good one here. And trying to find a good color here. Let's go ahead and do Richard. So we're gonna do Tovro to Tovro. And we successfully did not hit that 25% lethal white and got that 50% chance of Tovro. So that is all of the different colors. And 
I didn't get any lethal whites and I didn't get any solids. A lot of the times on the game, the random generator will be very predictable. 50% chance obviously happens more times than 25% chance. But I have had some players tell me that they get repetitive lethals or repetitive solids. So just know if you get that, it's just the random generator and just how the game is working. But I hope that you guys learned something from this and I hope that everybody has a lovely day. Thank you.